Major Slack videos. Well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Cyberpunk 2077. This is uh, this last video on the pickup mission. <laughs> I promise. This is uh, my preferred method of doing it. Going, um, siding with Militech and going uh, hostile against the Maelstroms. A couple ways you could do this. I'm going to cover them all in this uh, video. Okay. First thing you want, if you want to take on Royce as a boss fight, you need something pretty heavy to take him on. The best weapon, after extensive testing, the best weapon to kill, whoops, you fall down on the goon there, V? You okay? Okay. Is the Quasar. That's assuming that you're following um, the multi, the multi-build power start. You don't really have uh, very many options at our disposal. But the Quasar does a nice job of finishing them off very nicely. Tech pistol. Auto fire. Hopefully everybody has found one by now. I know I've got one back here in my apartment. Here we go, the Quasar. I believe I can upgrade this baby. Let's take a little look-see. Yes, I can. Let's do that. Oh, and again. And again. One more bartender. And that's all she wrote. Is this the insufficient components or... Nope, character level. So that's it. Next. The Maelstrom are, are weak to shock damage, so make sure you got the right um, quick hacks loaded up. Definitely have uh, short circuit loaded up. Let's replace Contagion. And reboot optics is going to be very useful. So let's replace overheat with the reboot optics. And we won't be able to use Synapse Burnout throughout the entire um, mission, even though we're going to get that quick hack. Okay, so that's it. Anything else? Um, grenades. Let's replace this with Flashbang. And just for demonstrational purposes, let's, just in case you don't have a Quasar, let's see if they actually have them for sale here. I've seen them for sale at Weapon Vendor, so not hard to find. If you can't find it at a Weapon Fine. Vendor, just wait 24 uh, hours and um, check again and you'll probably have it. Nope, he doesn't have it. Somebody was saying after the new patch that legendary components were no longer available for sale. That's just simply not true. Here we go. Legendary upgrade components. Legendary upgrade item components. Epic item components, epic upgrade components, everything is as normal. I don't know how you figure that out, but nope. New gun on I'm right. on patch 1.11, the very latest one. So, yep. Don't tell me that's um, let's just wait uh, 24. Who do I spy? No Quasar. I have seen them for sale at uh, maybe at the gun dealer at the Kabuki Market. I'm not going to check there, but um, just go here. Check the gun dealer there. Go to this fast travel station and then this gun dealer right here should have a Quasar for sale. Okay, anyways, that's it. We're going to get underway. Get up near the fast travel station and we're gonna call Meredith Stout. Stout here. Start by telling me how you got this number. No more than your number. Heard you misplaced a convoy. You shut him up. Spill what you know. Don't make me wait. Don't forget. Nuh-uh. You're not on the horn. Let's meet. Cut a deal. A deal? Fine. First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm Channel under the overpass. Meet you there. Got another drive. Okay, let's go meet up with Meredith Stout. 
She's there. Closest fast travel station is Charter Street. Let's go there now. Now, we're going to be friendly with Meredith. Feed her all the right answers and tell her the truth and get the cred chip. All right? Let's take a gander at her lovely butt. Okay, quick way down, let's just jump down. You're gonna hurt yourself, but it's no biggie. Hurt yourself, B? Here, have some raw beef. Want some raw beef? Yeah, I want some raw beef. Here, 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 have some raw beef. There we go. All better. There we go. Health, health is going back up. And there is Meredith Stout. Oh. Meredith Stout. Take it you were the one to call? Yes. Yes, indeed. I have a proposition for you. Got enough. But, uh-oh. Thought you could blackmail me, fucker! Set conditions! Got any more for me? Calm the fuck down! I just want to talk! Meredith? Shut your trap! That fucking thing ready? All set. Now answer my questions. Honestly. Forthrightly. Are you here alone? Indubitably. Yep, all by my lonesome. Yep, just little old me. It's the truth. Do a sweep now. Now listen. Anthony Gilchrist. Is he your contact? Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? Never met him. That guy? Never seen him before. Checks out. Listen, I know where the transport is. I can help you. Just want a favor in return. <sighs> I told you! I fucking told you! I'm not the mole! Jesus Christ! Shut him up! Unhand me now before I... <sighs> Him, you can let go. Want to hear what he has to say? I need a bot. Flathead model. Guys who ripped you off have it. Promise me that bot. I'll point the finger. You have a plan how to deal with them? Could just take it by force, but they're expecting payment. So I could go that route too. Fine, the latter. But on one condition. You pay with our money. Okay, now you're gonna accept the cred chip. Sounds solid enough. I'm in. You pay with that chip, and that's all you gotta worry about. Try to fuck me in any way, and I'll be seeing you real soon. Damn. <laughs> Every time. Okay, so, by the way, do not, repeat, do not try to hack the cred chip now. You see it in your inventory here? At the bottom of your list of shards. There it is, Militech credit chip. Do not crack security now. If you do, you're gonna lose the 10,000 bucks. You have to wait until the mission is over. And I'll show you that before the end of the video. To meet up with Jackie, the best way to do is bomb down this way here. Don't try to drive up there because um, you'll get your car stuck and you'll trash it. Let's just hoof it up there. Most of the dialogue, well, I'd say all the dialogue choices with Jack here are completely inconsequential. So let's just um, fast track this. So Dex already paid them. Doesn't matter what you choose. That shit can go small. And finally, on. Let's go see these bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. See if they even. Okay, so the Maelstrom headquarters is this way. Stop from the in intercom, and now's a great time to do a save if you want to explore all your op all your options. Do a save here. There you go. Let's talk to these buggers. I hate these Borg fuck. <sighs> Don't know you. Want to talk to Royce? Dex sent us. Main room. We've been waiting. 
Okay, first option is to dispense with the dialogue and just go in strong. Initiate a fight with the uh, Maelstrom right away. For that, you want to use your grenades. Get, your, get out your strongest close combat weapon. Forget about sneaking. There is no option to sneak here. It's going to have to go in hard and fast. This way, don't worry about the booby traps. They won't hurt you. Just run right through them. Same here. Up here. Now, as soon as you even point a weapon at these guys, it's game on. That's all you have to do. So, basically, you want to ambush them. What we're going to do is we're going to kill this guy. A whole bunch of guys are going to come down the elevator, throw a grenade as he, right after you kill that guy. That'll take care of them. And... While I was talking, one of this is going to screw up my strategy. Because he's on the elevator. Okay, we'll find out. It did. Here we go. There you go. Take the high ground. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay, everybody dead in this area. I'm not going to collect anything. This is just for demonstrational purposes. Take the elevator up. Come on, Jackie, let's go. I'll slip up here. Come on, dance. Come on, man. Get ready for some more action when you get up here. So this area is clear. This is definitely triggering a boss fight with Royce. Now we have to pick up the flathead manually. All you have to do is go in here. There's a flathead right there. Don't like access it right away. First you want to go in here and loot Nothing the yet. safe. Which at this stage always has a pretty high level Ashura sniper rifle. And 1600 bucks. Okay, once you looted that, now examine the, the flathead. flathead. Model MT0 D12. Militech logo. Let's see this bad boy. Open it. Love tinkering with new gear. Tech poetry. Great piece of chrome. Feels like fucking Christmas morning. <laughs> Okay, at this point, wait for Jackie to go out of fighting way out of here. Wait till he goes completely out, because otherwise he'll get stuck right here and he'll block your way. Then take the flathead and run out before he comes back and blocks your way. And at this point, it's what happens after this is exactly the same as another option, which I'm going to display or demonstrate um, right now. Right? So let's go to the next option. Next is the easiest way to get the Chaos Pistol. What you just did there is uh, the harder way to get the Chaos Pistol. Where you have to get it by engaging in a boss fight with Royce at the end. Which I'm trying to figure out why anybody would want to do that. This video is going to have um, hopefully some evidence about XP because I'm thinking that's probably what it is. If you kill Royce at the end you simply get more XP. Um, I've never actually been able to figure out whether you actually get XP for killing Royce in the sit-down. Which we're going to find out right now. Dex sent us. Dex sent us. Main room. 
waiting. Okay, so let's check our XP right now. Character stats. XP is at level 12, 874. 874, 874, remember that? There we go. So we're gonna find out if you actually get XP for killing Royce in the sit down. My guess is no, but maybe I'm wrong. Which would then give you a reason to um, initiate the boss fight with Royce. Okay, now we're gonna go through here. This time we're not gonna initiate combat with the Maelstrom, not yet. I go too fast. Jackie, did you get stuck again? We're always waiting on you, Jackie. Always waiting on you. Cozy place. Could use some plants though, right? I could use a few plants yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, okay, come on. Oh yeah. They look damn well prepared. Oh, I love the way he kind of advises you to chill out here and then he just goes like, like this totally ape shit. I can chill be. <laughs> Their turf. Yeah, practice what you preach there, buddy. So okay, dum dum. You got a bot. Model MT0 D12. Called the Flathead. And? The hell you care? Guy I represent already paid brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah, you talk to me. Name's Dum Dum. Now couch. Planet. Okay, we're gonna play it real cool. Tell Jackie to cool it when he gets uh, gets into a snit with uh, Dum Dum, and then when we finally start talking, quote unquote, with Royce, we're gonna draw our weapon. All right? Well, shit goes for you too. I'll stand. This so fucking hard. Fucking ass on the fucking couch. Make me. Thought you'd never ask. Okay, calm Jackie down. down. Sit down. This ain't gonna end well, but shit. Well, all right. Come on, got lighten up. Take a hit. Okay, we're gonna pass this time because this is not gonna be the good ending. So no matter where we're gonna, you know, Thanks, not I'm get good. the inhaler. He's gonna call you a princess. Whatever you say, straight edged princess. Here we go. A flathead. Model MT0 D12. If you do take the inhaler, first of all, if you're a street kid, you can go for the uh, street kid black lace option, then take a hit, and then go for a peaceful outcome to the entire encounter that means you can decide with uh, the maelstroms and fight Militech. Then at the end Dum Dum will give you the inhaler and it's kind of like a one shot deal. You go into your inventory, find the inhaler, take it, and it gives you a 10 increase to your armor which at this point may not, you know, may be only very little. Because right now my armor is three, 319 so you know plus 10 armor is no big deal. Anyway so show it to me. Need to see it. So yourself. Anyways, I covered that in the previous video. Fucking tricked out this thing. And we've Dynamic seen this before, so let's just fast track this. Okay, we'll take it. Yep, we'll take it. Three. Sure. Yeah. Let's see your cred. Brick got it. It's all paid up. Brick got it. Huh. Okay, now this I don't is important. See any fucking brick around here, do you? Really expect me to pay twice. Come on. Can't expect me to pay for this thing twice. And who the fuck are you to say what can and can't be? You'll pay twice because I say you'll pay twice. Alright. You want the flathead? I better see some eddies. Okay. Ask him for a discount. Seeing as you already got the eddies for it, you ought to offer us a discount. A big one. A discount? Fuck. You know, you never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshaun. That's who. Dexter Deshaun. 
The lord ass who punching hey, animals draw on weapon? top of Pacifica? <laughs> Ain't he a gun? No, he's alive, well, and kicking. And he sends his regards. So you're gonna consider my offer now? <sighs> and then we're just gonna shoot him. Okay, shoot Royce, I've had enough. Bang. I go great! Bring it, cocksuckers! <sighs> Okay, now let me just check here. Doesn't look like we've gotten any XP for killing Royce, although that could just be um, a lag in the notification. Okay, I'm gonna watch the video back and see about all the experience points that we got. Everybody's dead. Gotta find a way out of here. Anyways, there's dead Royce. Get a whole bunch of money off him. And the Chaos Pistol. Easiest way to get the Chaos Pistol. And you don't have to do the Royce boss fight at the end. And you also get $1,900 off Royce. But I think you get the same off him in the boss fight at the end. Right? Now at this time, since you've blown everything, um, you have to find the flathead yourself. Same thing, same deal. Same here. Oh wait, sorry, my bad. You already brought the flathead out. It's right here. So just, just grab it manually. And you're off to the races. Alright, so let's do the third option. This is where we're going to have the sit down. Then let Jackie freak out. Instead of calming him down, we're just going to let him freak out. Then V's going to agree with him say, yeah, you know what, let's just go at him hard. And then you initiate combat like that. This option, Royce doesn't actually get into the sit down yet. And he just simply disappears and becomes a boss fight at the end. Okay, now remember this time, we're just going to let Jackie freak out. down you know what Jack you called it let's scrap the bastards okay it's on Okay, so Royce takes off and becomes a boss fight at the end. Let's loot all these guys. Since they didn't actually bring the flathead out, we're gonna have to go in and get it. Nothing yet. Same as before. Loot the safe first. Then come out and examine the flathead. This is to avoid a glitch with Jackie. The flathead. Where he blocks the Model door. MT0 D12. Militech logo. Let's see this bad boy. Open it. Love tinkering with new gear. Tech poetry. Great piece of chrome. Feels like fucking Christmas morning. <laughs> okay, let's approach Jackie a little bit, get him to talk, 
it's gonna find a way out. out of here. Let him get past the door, all the way past the door, then take the flathead. Got set. Bot Rush out. Let's go. The Last better. call for alcohol, loot everything you want to loot, and then we're gonna leave. Okay, and we're gonna play this one out to the Dive. end. Okay, now we're gonna go mostly stealth. It's a production line. Plus, I thought you loved me. No other way. Up here, you gotta hit the switch to open the door. Through here. And at this point, I'm gonna turn off the dialogue because Jackie's constant nagging just drives me crazy. Just, it just, I can't stand it. And it's nonsensical nagging too. Half the time it's like, you know. Okay, over here. Okay, so we're gonna do some camera stealth. Here's a camera right there. Friendly mode. And camera control. There's a guy right there. First thing you want to do is breach protocol if you can. Cut the cost. Looks like we got E91C, E91C. <clears throat> and short circuit these guys. As you can see, they're weak to shock damage. The short circuit. And I should have pinged that guy. Let's ping him right now. And tag him. Tag you. Tag us, yes. And tag you. There you go. Everyone's nicely tagged. That guy's getting a little cheeky. He's gonna start coming up the stairs. He's gonna get busted if we let him get away with it. He has spotted someone. Let's just short circuit him. Okay, your turn. See that one shot of short circuit and almost takes him down. As compared to um, overheat. Now, if you're in this situation where you can't like, what you could do is just simply, there's another camera over there. Take control of that camera and you have a different angle here. So now we can finish him off. And you are dead. Didn't you get the memo? You're dead. Die now. Fall down and die. Attaboy. Okay. Now, your turn. If he is there and he won't, you can't get a line of fire on him, you could use distract enemies on this. Doesn't always work, but... No, he didn't take the bait. Oh, wait a minute. What? Well, wait a minute. He's coming back. Let's do breach protocol again just to make sure that uh, everything is nice and cheap. Come on now. Come on over. Oh, wait, we discovered a dead body. Good. Come on out. Attaboy. There we go. This is a good bad guy. And you get a little zap. And again. And you are dead. You're dead now. Fall down. Attaboy. Okay. Our work here is done. Let's switch back to this camera and make sure this camera is in friendly mode. Yes, it is. Switch back to our cells. Put this camera in friendly mode. It is. And we're good. Do a quick save. Next. 
There's cameras in there. By the way, above all costs, you want to remain as stealthy as possible. You want to keep Jackie, like, you know, under control. Because otherwise, he's just going to go, Ladies and gentlemen, Jackie Wells. He's just going to go apeshit and screw everything up. It's so stupid. Okay, so we got a camera right here. Let's put it in a friendly mode. Friendly now. Okay, and camera control. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> okay, and we got a guy right here. Let's do ping first. See where everybody is. Looks like there's two guys there. One of them is Netrunner. Let's tag him. Tag, I says. And tag you. There we go. They're both tagged. Let's go after the net runner first. Always the most dangerous. Short circuit. He's suspicious. He's coming for us. And one more time. And that'll do him in. Looks like we can short circuit this guy. Lots of damage. He gets suspicious, starts coming towards us. Let's short circuit uh, reboot and one more time should do him in. Down you go, buddy. You're dead now. Attaboy. Okay. Maybe just ping something, make sure everybody's dead or everybody is like has been done in this area. Okay, looks like this area is done. We got a camera over there. Let's put it in friendly mode. Go friendly now. Friendly, friendly, green, friendly. Attaboy. Okay. And let's take control of it. Go back and target the other camera that we just took control of and put it in friendly mode. Very good. And back to ourselves. And that's everybody in this area done. What do you got? Target analysis. Once again, if you want to see what a Anthony Gilchrist is all about, looks like he's the trader. You can go in here and check out this terminal and read these messages here, most particularly transports LOA and it's from Anthony Gilchrist to Patricia it's all very simple you get the number of that da, 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 da. oh my gosh he's the mole he's the bad guy all right and I believe there's some yeah money here yeah forgot to get that last time that's right you be nice and quiet Jackie Put a muffler on you. Under this. Ladies and gentlemen, Jackie Wells. Okay, so I'll make sure everybody's dead here. They're pretty I'm pretty sure. Got all the cameras off. And you can I believe turn off all the cameras in this area by going to local network. Or is it the other one? I think it's the other one. All right, now in this room here is Brick, the guy who did the original deal with Dexter until there was a hostile takeover. Brick is worth more dead than alive. So to get in there, you can do remote deactivation, open the door, or 
you could go here. Open this uh, laptop, access it, and you can get the code but by going to messages and only you guys know. And there's the code, 9691. Then you can just punch the code into this, this right here, which we can't do because we already opened the door. And punch in the code 9691 and that'll open the door. And Brick! Um, let me turn on the dialogue briefly. Laser, I'm ground beef. It's linked to a mine. You're a brick, yeah? I'm brick. Royce did this? A twisted fuck. Now, if you want a free brick, there's two ways to do this. You can, if you don't have, um, I believe it's tech. It's the wrench. It's the wrench, yeah. If you don't have tech 7, you can just hack it and go for disarm remote deactivation, but I don't want to do that because I want the $5,000 bounty. If you want the $5,000 bounty for killing him, um, let's just shut you up again. You can't just kill him outright. You have to use the detonator to kill him. Let's just turn off Jackie. There we go. Shut up, Jackie. Okay. Detonator's in here. It may be bugged and you might not be able to access it. This could be because you're in combat. Somebody was saying that it's like you just go against this wall. I tried that in another time when it was bugged. It didn't work. I tried everything. Jumping on top of the table here. Every like, you know, angle to get at the detonator. If it's bugged and you can't access it, it's probably because you're in combat. And if that still doesn't work. The best, uh, I don't know what to say. It, it, a lot of people have complained about that being buggy. Okay, so let's take the detonator. Two choices. You can set off the charge or you can disarm the charge. You disarm the charge, you're free brick. If you set off the charge, you get 5,000 bucks. Let's set off the charge. Like the $5,000 bounty. Especially since I wasn't able to demonstrate that, that last time. So there we go. 5,000 bucks. Judging. Alright. Done and done. Sorry, brick. Like I said, you're worth more dead than alive. Look at this. <laughs> the entrails and everything. This is gross. Okay, next. Can we quick save? Yes, we can. Okay. So, everything is calm in this room. And there's often um, over here somewhere. Not this time. Here, this safe. Huh, okay, it's, it's obviously completely random, but it's in the safe. There's often a rare item in there. Okay, you gotta watch as a camera here. So as you loot this stuff over here. Okay, let's go for some more camera stuff. Get out of the way, Jackie. Don't, don't, don't take up my optimal place here. Okay, and now... Scan just around the corner, and you see that thing passing by there? And you can see a camera right there. First of all, let's put it in a friendly mode. And let's take control of it. Take control of it. And now we got a great view of the entire area. Find somebody and ping them. This is weird. There we go. There's somebody right there. Ping. Get everybody's location. There we go, got their location. And let's tag everybody. I know this is really clunky on the PS4 as discussing that last video. Do your best. And one more here, wait. And most particularly the Netrunner. He's priority number one. Typically seven enemies in this area. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There, we got them all. Great, we can short circuit the Netrunner. That's the most important. Probably gonna run out of RAM eventually. There we go. 
Now he's still the net runner because he's highlighted in orange. The short circuit him again to do him in. There he's done. That's great. So he's down. Biggest threat taken care of. Okay, we're gonna have to wait for our ram to recover. Sorry, sir, that guy. And he's coming for us. Getting a little too close for comfort. I'm gonna bail out. Do it, man, as soon as he comes around. The there we go. Okay, gotta keep Jackie nice and calm. Okay, let's go back to the camera control. Yeah, that's where you are right there. So you see a guy approaching me, approaching you there. Bail out. Get ready to take him down stealth. Stealth like. Okay. There we go. Continue with the easiest way to do this. Especially if you suck at aiming on the, uh, the console version of this game. And you find like heavy combat a little fallacious. Easiest way to do this. Camera control and short circuit. Okay, wait for our ram to recover. Here he comes. Oh no you don't. Oh no you don't. And he's down. <laughs> Pretty close. Okay, looks like we can target this one. We'll have to wait for our ram to recover. He's priority number one. If you want to finish off all the other ones, the other two, with, um, you know, stealth pistol, make sure you take out the guy on the bridge. Because he's got the high ground, he's got eyes on the whole area. Okay, he always does that too. Short circuit him and he comes down. Very good. These guys, we don't have a line of uh, fire on them. There is another camera right there. Friendly mode. And camera control. And now we can get the line of fire on some of these. That guy right there. Maybe not. How about you? Maybe not. Okay, there's a third camera right here. Friendly mode. There we go. Camera warfare, people. Sorry, Mr. Fumble Fingers is just going crazier. There we go. That's it, one guy left. Let's do him in manually. Okay, 
Ready to go. Do not blow this jacket. We're trying to stay stay stealthy. Uh oh, we uh oh, uh -oh. hold up here. Okay, Jackie just went ape shit. I forgot to forgot to put this camera in. Okay, just kill it. Okay, so Jackie's gun. Um, that's okay. There's just one left. There they go. Okay, very good. All right, now you. Could have swore I, I made that camera friendly. That's the thing about making cameras friendly it uh it's a little glitchy sometimes they stay permanently friendly sometimes they just go back to being hostile see like this one we don't need these these cameras anymore so let's just do them in Okay, we're good to go here. Next, let's get our stealth on again. Area is just hostile. We're not in combat, so we can recover our stealth. Up the stairs here. To this door here. Open it. And peek just around the corner here. Right here. No, wait, it's the next one. Right here. right here. Okay, let's just take control of friendly mode first. Scan. Friendly? Friendly! Just it looks like it didn't take or something. Okay, let's just take control. And let's do Wait, wait for our ram to recover. If you just simply drop this guy, the camera will see him and often it sets off this whole area into combat mode. So it's better to do it like this. Here we go, short circuit. See, he just stands there and takes it. See, he has no clue. And again, that'll do him in. All right, now another guy down there. Let's ping him, get everybody's location. All right, and let's tag everybody. You get tagged. You get. To, wait a minute. You get tagged. You get tagged. You get tagged, and. Oh my god, tagging is so much easier on the PC version. It's just wonderful. Everybody's tagged. Alright, same thing here. Camera warfare. to recover he's coming up here if he gets too close we're just gonna cut him down 
this guy didn't get tagged. What's going on? There we go. You there. Where do you think you're going? Uh uh, bad, bad guy. Okay, these guys are nicely spread out, so, and there's not, not a lot of obstacles in the way. Yeah, see this? This guy should be friendly. I noticed that they kind of have like... Like it sometimes takes a couple shots. Do this guy in. Because nobody can see him, so they're not going to get freaked out about body discovered or anything. Except that guy, for some reason. Oh, this is the thing with Jackie. This is the thing with Jackie, he just decides, just out of the blue, to go apeshit. No matter how stealthy you are. This is why... I I much prefer camera warfare in this location. That's me, that's Jackie. Got a line of fire on this guy. Let's do short circuit. Look at Jackie, what a fucking numb nut. <laughs> Pardon my friends. Can't stand him. I wish you could shut him down. So they have some kind of command. Chill, Jackie. It's like just knock him out for three minutes. Okay, it looks like our ram is not recovering because uh, we're in combat. So we're gonna have to do this the hard way. It's okay. That's right, Jackie. Stand right in the line of fire. And we're good to go. All that remains is the boss fight. Okay, I'm not going to go too crazy with the loot here. He's getting full up anyways. Alright, can we save the game? Yes, we can. Alright. Just in case Mr. Fumblefingers blows this. Alright, now you want to load up your Quasar. Is that the one? That's the one. Plays are loaded up. Flashbangs loaded up. And short circuit, that's pretty much all you need. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. There's gonna be two guys in there. The Royce as a boss, like he's gonna be in this like a like total mech warrior, really tough. And um just one one bad guy, one maelstrom gang war uh, gang member. What we're gonna do is we're gonna sneak up right behind him. He's based almost invincible, but once he's like his, she has this shield, right? And as long as his shield is active, it's pretty much invincible. You have to bring down the shield, and the way you bring down the shield is either, pardon me, do a takedown, or somehow target this orange thing on his back, which is kind of like his personal generator. If you destroy that, then you can take down a shield. What we're going to do is we're going to go in, sneak up right behind him, and tell you all this now because I'm going to do it as soon as I go through the door. I'm not going to give him a chance. Go in, sneak up on the left side, get behind him, do a takedown. As soon as you do the takedown, the shield is down. Immediately target him with the, your scanner, do a short circuit, um, dodge back, throw a flashbang at him. As soon as the flashbang goes off, go hard at him at his head with the quasar. 
and usually two reloads does him in if it doesn't run away and then like rinse and repeat with the flashbang and the quasar okay that's the plan let's do it okay hold up here i got a new strategy i just developed this just now this is what we're gonna do we're gonna sneak up behind both of them sneak up the right side do a silent headshot on the maelstrom gang member then do a takedown on royce then do a short circuit then dodge back switch to the quasar throw a flashbang and then go out his head with a with the quasar Shut your trap. Boom! That's my new strategy, I just invented this. Just now. Wow, that looked, that worked great. Okay, so sneak up the right side. Silent headshot on the gang member. Immediately switch over to the Quasar beforehand. Take down on Royce, which will take off half, a quarter of his health. Um, immediately short circuit right afterwards. Dodge back so that you don't uh, be get hit by your flashbang. Dodge back, throw a flashbang, and then go uh, go at him hard with a quasar, and then repeat with a flashbang and quasar if necessary, and heal if necessary. But wow, that that's great. Okay, so now we get the chaos. Looks like the money you get from him is random. And I was checking from um, other recordings, and it looks like the XP you get from him, killing him as a boss is like, I don't know, 33, 35 XP. It's nothing spectacular. So honestly, I can't see, I can't see any reason why you want to take him on as a boss fight. It's just a hell of a lot easier to kill him in the. Uh, I, I don't know. Why would you want to do the boss fight? Just kill him in the sit down. And you don't even need it. There's no skill check for that, so everybody can do it as long as you got a, a pistol of some kind. Come on, V. Let's get out of here. Anyways, there is the only thing I didn't cover was there's an option to sneak past Royce. Once you you trigger him and he's in a boss fight, there's an option to sneak past him and then just sneak out, but then you don't get the chaos. Uh, I don't know why anybody would want to do that, either. <laughs> okay, so we got everything. Let's leave. There you go, nice long video for you guys. Pretty much thoroughly explored the pickup mission. And let's go out and get the Meredith Stealth ending. For which we have worked hard for. Meredith. Now we're gonna be friendly with her, okay? You wanna have a little romance with her later on? Be friendly. See me here. You know, I like the way you operate. Maybe you'd do some more work for us. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. But you'll have to learn to follow orders first. Dunno, that's not always possible. And I'm not great at it anyway. Then you'll need to get good and make it possible. Next time. Secure the area. You just sound too happy. Time we were on our way, Holy shit. I think I showed the wrong, wrong option. Let me see if there's another one. Oh, 
I don't want to piss him off. Piss her off. I want her nice and friendly. Okay, gun down. Yeah, go. Ahead. Buzz out there. Buzzing around everywhere. Past the gate. You can talk there. didn't expect to see me here. You know, I like the way you operate. Maybe you'd do some more work for us. I keep my when word. I say something, I do it. Keep my word. Mm-hmm. Me too. Heard one of the flatheads is missing. Must have fallen off the truck along the way. Guess Militech will never find it. Pleasure doing business. All right. Secure there the you area. Go. She's, she's happy. Okay. Gotta keep the woman happy. Damn. Holy shit. Damn, damn, damn. He said it. <laughs> okay, it's over. That's it. Yeah. I had enough for one day. Let me tell you. Hey, let Dex know we got his toy for him. And Fatso ought to crack open a bottle for us after what we did for him today. All right. Off you go. And how are things looking, Mister V? Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the Militech angle? Met with Stout. Managed to strike a deal. Well, well. Gave me the chip with the scratch from Maelstrom. So you paid for the flathead with corp cash? No. Decided I could use the Eddies myself, and I just grabbed the bot. Just like that? Not just. Had to use violence. You got some balls, Mr. B. We're all set. Ready to go. What now? Now we do the job I hired you to do. Grabbing that biochip. We'll talk about the rest at the afterlife. See you there. Great. Be there in no time. See you, Mr. B. Check that out. Lots and lots of attribute points and perk points. Okay, so now the the pickup is officially over and the heist has begun. At this point, you can hack the crit chip. Okay. So go to your journal, shards. Okay, now you're gonna crack security. It's the same matrix every single time. What you wanna do is you wanna do the bottom row first, then the top row. Note that the last number of the bottom row is the first number of the top row. So this should only take you six turns and that's exactly what we have. Okay, and it's the exact same matrix every time. So it's BD, BD, 50, BD, BD, FF, 55, 1C, E9. There's two ways to do this, BD, BD FF 551C E9 or BD BD FF 551C E9. Let's go for the first one. BD BD FF 551C E9. Now watch. See this? Transferring funds. That's what you want to see. See that at the bottom? That's exactly what you want to see. Close, and there we go. See the funds transferring. And a cool 10,000 bucks. Cha ching. So that's how to get the 10,000 bucks from the credit chip. That's the only way. If you do it during the mission, you're not going to get it. So that's it. <laughs> we have thoroughly explored the pickup mission. And that's my favorite way of doing it because you get like, you, you walk out with like, you know, about 1,700 bucks. Strike that 17,000 bucks. And you get the Chaos Pistol. And, um. That smart sniper rifle. Where's the Chaos Pistol? There it is. Smart sniper rifle. And stuff like that there. Thanks a lot for watching! And if you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Stuff like that there. See you next time for some more Cyberpunk 2077.
Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.